Here you see the three basic parts of a permanent magnet brush DC motor. Notice that it contains magnets for the stator, a rotor coil, and the brush assembly. The stator does not rotate and will maintain a constant magnetic field. The rotor is the actual part of the motor which rotates. The rotor assembly is where the shaft of the motor attaches. The brush assembly is used to provide the DC potential to the rotor coil. Now let's see how this motor works. Keep in mind that the B minus side of the rotor coil will produce a north pole condition and the B plus side of the rotor coil will produce a south pole magnetic condition when the current flows through the rotor winding. When a DC potential is applied to the rotor coil, the magnetic flux field produced by the coil will be repelled, forcing the rotor to move away from the north pole stator magnet and become attracted to the south pole stator magnet. As the rotor finishes its 180 degree rotation, the polarity on the rotor coil changes and forces the rotor to rotate again. Notice that the power source feeding the motor brushes does not change polarity. Instead, as the rotor assembly rotates, the wires connected to the rotor coil come in contact with the opposite brushes, thus changing the magnetic field being generated within the rotor coil assembly. When the magnetic flux field of the rotor changes, it becomes repelled and forced to rotate to the next magnet. As the rotor coil nears the other magnet, the magnet places an attraction to the coil's magnetic field, thereby keeping the rotor turning. It is this repelling effect and the traction effect which actually makes the rotor shaft turn. Here you see another permanent magnet brushed DC motor. This motor is using four brushes and four permanent magnets. Notice that its operation is exactly like the two brush motor you just examined. Each time the rotor moves across a set of brushes which reverses the current flow through the rotor winding, the magnetic field changes polarity and the rotor is once again pushed away. Permanent magnet brush motors like these have been used throughout the manufacturing industry for decades due to their high efficiency and flexible performance. The torque to speed ratio of the permanent magnet motor exhibits good low speed torque characteristics down to the stop condition. This makes them very suitable for servo control systems. However, the high speed characteristics are very limited. As the speed increases, the voltage between the rotor windings also increases. As the voltage and current increase through the windings, a breakdown voltage between the windings may occur. This will result in severe damage to the motor as well as the drive.